Hi everybody, I'm coming kind of a strange time today, but I am making my family's favorite uh, double baked cauliflower casserole. So we used to make macaroni and cheese all the time before keto. We used to make uh, a smoked mac and cheese. So um, when we became keto, we had to find another alternative to that mac and cheese. So hi Diane. So now we do, um, when we were on the, at the lake, I made this for um, our kids. My uh, son-in-laws, they asked for it. So I'm gonna make it tomorrow for a party that we're having here at the house. We have a, um, a for our neighbors, they're coming tomorrow. So. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and make this ahead. It's a great make ahead or take with you to grandma's house or to a potluck, whatever. So I'm gonna get started here. I did a little prep so that we could speed this up a little bit and I'm not gonna cook it today. I'll cook it tomorrow. Um, but we are gonna get started. Hey, Kimmy, make sure I have, Kim, you're gonna love this one. Hi, Virginia. So what I did first, is I took the cauliflower, and again, the light. I think we're gonna have to put some drapes over here and that might help. So, I pre-cooked this for um, about 15, 20 minutes. Cut, I like to cut the cauliflower pretty small so that it's, um, it's more like potatoes and less like cauliflower. So it's more like a twice baked, baked potato kind of thing. So, um, I had like one, this calls for one head, but I doubled it for the party. And Doug's making a brisket and some um, pulled pork, so it'll be yummy. I'm gonna make some keto rolls and it'll be a party. Um, so I only have one and a half heads, so what I did is threw some of the cauliflower rice that I got at Trader Joe's, a bag of that in here, so it's a little different consistency, but it'll be good. So then you're just gonna mash it up like your potatoes. And you wanna get the pieces pretty small because I, I find that the, um, the smaller the pieces, the better it is. And I salt the water with sea salt, imagine that, ahead of time, okay? And then you're gonna have salt and pepper later, but I always um, salt it so that as it cooks. And it's not gonna steam, it's going to boil. So 15 to 20 minutes around there um, and just kind of play with it. I like it a little more on the dunner side. I hated cooked cauliflower before this. The idea of cooked cauliflower made me nauseous. I love vegetables. I love cauliflower raw, but cooked. So this turned me into a cauliflower, a cooked cauliflower lover. So then the next step is, hi everybody, hi Robert. Um, so the next step is, it calls for four ounces of full fat cream cheese. Who didn't love that? So I'm doubling this, so I have eight ounces, and I use Fidel, easy for me to say, Philadelphia in this one. So we're just gonna dump this in our bowl here. How is everyone today? So I left this sit out at room temperature for a little bit, just so um, it would be softer to work with. And then we could use um, this potato masher again. Sorry, that's loud, guys. This potato masher again for this. And I'm just gonna get that. It's also it's soft, so see, it's really easy. So the next um, the next step is we want a, a quarter cup of shredded parm. So we're gonna use a half since we are. Um, I don't. This parm doesn't look good. It's got some uglies in it, so we're gonna. So a quarter cup. So I have a half, so I'm gonna put a half a cup. And if you spill it over a little bit and add a little extra, extra, who cares? Hi, Dawn. Oh, hi, Cam. Hi, Rita. So we had an early wake-up call with a 4 a.m. Shih Tzu. Anybody want a Shih Tzu? Just kidding, don't send me messages. Oh my gosh. She has got anxiety these days that she never, hi, I love all those hearts, thank you. 
I may have gone over just a little bit on there. Um, she's got terrible anxiety anymore. It's crazy and driving us crazy. So I put some lavender on her. Um, I didn't diffuse uh, some lavender last night, but I'm gonna try that tonight. She may take a bath in it, who knows? I don't know what this new anxiety is about. Okay, and then it calls for a half a cup of full, full sour cream. So organic again, Trader Joe's. I'm using a cup, I'm gonna add that in there. Hi Robin, hi Janet. <clears throat> and there's really no rhyme or reason for this, guys. I mean, if you, just a dumping. And it's really simple, really simple to put together. And it's like I said, it's a great thing to, to throw together for a party or a, um, a get together. And then, um, it lasts. And this is the one I use for that lobster recipe that I mentioned before. And the lobster recipe is just, um, I just take the lobster tails, defrost them, and then I just saute them in butter and garlic. <clears throat> so good, a little salt and pepper. And then I just put it in there and cook it together. <clears throat> and it, you know, it makes a couple of meals for Doug and I. Cammy will even eat this. Cammy likes it. She doesn't have any clue it's not macaroni and cheese. So we're just gonna mix that up a little bit. Am I Christmas bowl cute? So we're just gonna mix that up. It's really, if you leave it out room temperature, it, and I haven't had it out that long, maybe half an hour or so, while I got everything together. So then it calls for a cup, or a quarter cup of green onions. So what I did is I have a quarter cup here, and then I have, because I doubled this, I have another, um, maybe a little more than a quarter cup, here of the chives and a little bit more of the onions. So I'm gonna put those on, reserve those for the top. The other thing I don't wanna forget because it kind of runs together is um, garlic. It tastes so much better with the garlic. So this calls for um, a teaspoon of garlic um, and, or if you're gonna use press, one to two cloves. So look how cute, they match. They match my bowl. So I'm gonna use two, obviously. I'm gonna add a little, little extra, extra there. You could, Kim, you can do it in a heartbeat. And you can pre-make this and have it for a couple of days and you are good to go. Okay, so I just added two teaspoons of the garlic. And that garlic I get at Costco too. Let me show you that. It's just the minced California garlic. Okay, we're coming together here. Let me see that. And then I need to add um, salt and pepper to taste and one full cup of, of um, cheddar cheese. And so I went ahead and I like using my food processor when I, when I bake keto stuff because it's a lot of cheese. Somebody's gotta do it, right? So I have a cup for inside and then I have another cup for on top. What? And I may have like gone a little bit over, but for the most part, that's what's in there. And I kind of push it down, so, you know, maybe a little extra cheese. All right, so we got about a cup here. And then the last thing, see how easy that is? So the last thing calls for bacon. And this is my favorite bacon. It's a nitrite free, and I get it at, um, at Sprouts, it's Coleman's. Um, it's really hard to like, even Costco doesn't carry uh, nitrite free. So, um, this is my favorite. There's no preservatives or anything. And actually, when it tastes really good, it costs more. And then what I do is I put it in a pan with some foil and I, I put it in the oven. So it doesn't, you have to stand there and babysit it. You don't have, you know, splatters. And I cook it for 375 for like 15 minutes. Just kind of keep an eye on it and see, you know, if you like it a little crispier. Hi, Carol. Hi, Alby. Hi, Karen. Okay. So, bacon's finished. What I like to do with bacon, I don't know if you guys can see that, is I like to just um, use kitchen scissors. And this calls for six slices. So this I think had 10-ish, but we're gonna put the whole thing in here and then I will make another one for tomorrow to put on the top. 
I just, this was frozen. That's the other good thing about this bacon. You just throw it in the freezer and put it out as you need it. It's already defrosted, but I didn't want to hold y'all up. Hey, Cam, mommy's doing a live. Not this way. No, 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 no. I'll let you know when I'm done. Go upstairs or downstairs, baby. Downstairs? Okay. Yeah, I think daddy's working downstairs, but he's, uh, but I, you can go down there. Okay, so just gonna slice this up. Anybody have any questions while I'm doing this? Hi Kate, hi Tammy, hi Heather. Anybody have any questions? Probably a delay here. And you don't, you, this doesn't have to be, this isn't rocket science. This, you just like, you just cut it up into whatever makes you happy. You like bigger piece if you like it crispier. Some of these pieces are crispier than others, but in the oven, it's just so good and it doesn't, you don't have to deal. I don't like all the splatters on my stove and stuff, so this makes it perfect. And you can make more. Okay. Bacon. We're going to throw it in there. And I always put it on a um, paper towel just to get some of the... Hi, Ellen. Aren't you at work? Um, to get some of the bacon fat. And you want to reserve what bacon fat you can because you can use it somewhere else. Cammie can't tell. No, Cammie can't tell. And Cammie, ever since we've gone keto, she likes vegetables she never, ever liked before. She will. She used to be a, like broccoli and carrots. Now she'll eat whatever we put in front of her. Brussels sprouts aren't her favorite. They're, they're our favorite, but um, she'll eat them, which is awesome, which I love. And then she gets a little green drink every day too. Okay, so this got a little mushy. So, got everything in here together. Hi Rose. Okay, just gonna mix this up. And seriously, you can't, you can't do it wrong. It's optional, but what the heck? It's optional to put in um, heavy whipping cream. Hi, Megan. So it calls for tablespoons, I think, instead of teaspoons. I mean, come on, you have to have some whipping cream, right? So I think it calls for a couple tablespoons. Let me check. My lights went out on my iPad. Uh, one tablespoon. So I'm going to add two tablespoons of heavy whipping cream. You always, in keto, you always want heavy whipping cream. You don't want half and half. You don't want milk. You want heavy whipping cream, okay? It's got better fats for us, and um, calories are 50 a tablespoon, but it's good, and there's no sugar, okay? So there's no carbs in heavy whipping cream. There are carbs in milk, and there's carbs in half and half. Um, Half and half is half milk and half um, cream. If you get raw milk too, that's really good. We have a farm here, I get raw milk sometimes. Hi Kelly. Um, and um, I love it, Cammie loves it. It's like, it's like pure cream, it's just a jaunt to get there. And I go there to get dog food for the dogs because uh, the dogs are raw fed. They're kind of spoiled like that. About to make a turkey for him. Um, I stocked up on turkeys at Thanksgiving to uh, make for them. They eat raw and then they eat some um, some meals and then I add veggies to that like cranberries or ber uh, blueberries. Okay so now and yes this is the outfit I chose today y'all for the interview which didn't Take as long as we thought it might. So that's good, I guess. I'm gonna do a little bit more salt and pepper in here. I am a freak as late about grinders, guys. This is a new one that all you gotta do is turn it over and it comes out. And then the pepper, same thing with pepper. Love brown pepper. It just tastes different. Don't buy the pepper in a can. Ever, 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 ever. Get fresh ones, you can get them at Costco for near nothing. 
I'm going to just invest in a grinder. Um, this is a battery operated grinder, but um, you can get the ones that crank. That's how I started my little obsession. But now I just like collect them. I have them all over the place. Okay, so there's our cauliflower. And we're going to take the cauliflower and put it in our cute little Christmassy pan. And this would cook in an, in an 8x8 uh, for the regular recipe. But we're going to do, um, we're going to do a double. So I had my cute little Ray done 8x8, so I was like, well, probably should keep it together. I collect Ray Dunn's. I love them. Found my find the other day at, with my for my dog food treats at uh, TJ Maxx. Who doesn't love TJ Maxx, y'all? Love TJ Maxx. Okay, anybody questions while I am doing mindless work here? And I thought I'd do this one because this is a great one too. Um, you know, for all of you that are getting ready to go to family at the holidays, um, a great one to take a New Year's Eve party. Everybody loves it. People that don't even like keto will love it. Easy to make ahead. And Kim, you can do this. If you can make a fat bomb, you can do this. I think this pan is bigger than, <laughs> than a regular 13. Let's see. It just seems huge. Bowl is heavy. Hi, Vicki. Hi, Kim. You want to get all that good stuff in there, and you can improvise a little bit if you want to add a little. Um, maybe some Gouda cheese would be really good, or even some pepper jack would be excellent in this. Oh, that was good. Okay. I like it thinner rather than thicker because you're going to get more of a bake on it, you know, where it's going to be have some crispy spots, just like when you're making mac and cheese. Oh, it smells so good. I smell the onions. And the green onions just kind of make it a little milder than just putting in a regular onion. You could use a regular onion, but um, I think this makes it a little milder. You're a beginner. <laughs> okay, this is beginner. This, anybody can do this, even you, Kim. If you can put makeup on, you can make this. And I really wish I'd have had you this morning. Doug's like, don't put too much makeup on. And then when I was done, he was like, oh, that looks good. <laughs> He's like, that's too much. Whatever. Some men, you know? So, we got the rest of the cheese that's going on. I mean, if I had it my way, I'd put a little bit extra extra here and I may do that. So remember, I have to put the, uh, cook the rest of the bacon, cook some more bacon and put it on the top because who doesn't want more bacon? And then I'm just gonna put the chives on here. I'm gonna put some of them on and then I'll do the rest when I do the bacon. Ooh, that smells so good. Hi, Laura. Thank you, love. So I did okay. I, I learned from the best. Okay, you guys see that? And that's going to bake um, at 350 for 15 to 20 minutes. And like I said, it's an awesome one to take with you. Um, Pre-cook it and then just warm it up when you get to your hostess's house. And when you go to your hostess's house, bring a gift. Bring something little nice. Put it in a container that they can keep. And uh, maybe a cute little spoon set. You have to bring a hostess gift, right? Thank you, Janet. Well, if you want to learn how to do that, talk to Kim. Okay, anybody have any questions? Oh, thank you, Janet. You're so sweet. So I don't have this one. Uh, I think it's in my Pinterest, but I have a, 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 a picture of, of it because I keep it. That's how often I use it. I should be able to do it by heart now, but I um, always keep it in there. Um, even my kids, Megan and Caitlin, will go, can we have that recipe again? Or, 
Write that recipe, you know, make sure I have that recipe. Isn't it lovely when our moms had recipes or our grandmothers were like, would you write that recipe down for me? And then you couldn't read their handwriting. But you know what, I have those still and I treasure them because my mom and my grandmother were the best cooks ever and um, those memories, pretty precious. My grandmother isn't with us anymore, but and my mom doesn't remember most of it. So um, I didn't mean to do that. Um, he says, why do you have to put that stuff on your face? You know, no, not for a walk. We had an interview today. Um, no, he's really, he, he's very complimentary, actually, Doug is. So, no, um, he just, he thought in one light it was too much. But I knew that once I got behind a light, like this light, um, and it was going to be different. Okay, any questions? Right, Janet? Okay. So this will go in the oven for um, 15 to 20 minutes at 350. It is the tastiest stuff. Add that lobster or shrimp to it. Put some chicken in it for a whole meal. You know, um, saute that chicken uh, and f first, and then add it to it. It would make even you could even add hamburger to this and make it like a hamburger pie. Love you, Kim. Thank you. Okay. That's it. I have uh, shopping to do for this party tomorrow. I think I've got to go get some flowers and fun stuff. Um, but I think I've got to make some keto goodies. Fudge, maybe? Maybe some brownie bites? I don't know. Some cheesecake bites? Doesn't all that sound good? Yeah, chicken would be really good. You could even barbecue the chicken, you know? Have it barbecued and then add it to it or even just put it inside. But always make sure you're, you know, you're adding more garlic to that chicken or it'll be bland. Hi, Laura. Thank you, Janet. Okay, no other questions? Okay, thanks y'all. Have a good day. Thanks, Cam.